Well, good morning again, everyone. It is the last and um, final day that I am here at GSA. It's a beautiful day here in Phoenix. And uh, it's a little cooler, which is actually nice. It's not nearly so hot as it was. Got a lot of things planned for today. Some great stuff to see at today's meeting, but I am headed home this afternoon. Let's see what the day has to bring for us. Well, no trip to GSA is complete without a little tour of the exhibition hall, so let's go check that out. This is Saturn. This is what I want to show you guys. This is the art exhibit, the geoscience art exhibit that was put together by Callan Bentley and um, I'm forgetting who the other guy is, Ian Stewart, I think. This is really great. It's exciting. There's so many great pieces of artwork here. There is a paleo artist here, incredible. Tectonic reconstructions. There's sewing. It's super cool geologic map. There's some LIDAR work, there's some photography, of course. Many here that are so, so great. Really, really impressive. So let's go take a look around a little bit. I didn't know this was here, but this is amazing. And you have to see this. It's this huge relief map of the Grand Canyon. And the detail in this is just astounding. So I wanna kinda of walk you through some of it and show you. So the Colorado River starts up here, comes down this way, over here. Here's the little Colorado River coming in, which joins the Colorado River enters into the Grand Canyon here. The National Park is basically this area. Of course, the whole thing is much bigger than that. The National Park really just occupies this little corner down here. You can see some of these side canyons and you can see how they are eroding backward and you're, you're gonna have some headward erosion and this would eventually probably do some stream capture here. You can see down here, drainage divide. All these streams drain to the south. And there are others, of course, that drain up to the canyon. There's uh, these two massive side canyons. These are really, really much bigger than most of the other side canyons. This one here, this one here is Bright Angel Canyon. If you ever hike the Bright Angel Trail, um, I'm pretty sure that it is 
in this little corner there where the Bright Angel Trail uh, reaches the rim. You can see these big long lineaments here. There are quite a few of them in the detail of this map. And those are either normal faults, which are associated with basin and range extension, and they cut through the Paleozoic strata. There are others that are laramide compression structures, and there are monoclines that are built in the Paleozoic strata on top of those. So here's an example right here, where you can see the strata are cutting upward and dipping off to the east, one of the monoclines there. If we come over here, you might recognize these little things. These are little cinder cones and maybe some lava domes. Much younger volcanism. There's some more, where'd they go? There's some more down here, in this little corner here. The canyon, of course, is like uh, 270 miles long or something like that. It's really, really long. And the end of the canyon over here, you can't really see it, it's a little cut off. But that's where the canyon comes to an end. And there's a big, big normal fault that goes along there that marks the end of the Colorado Plateau. So this image is really, really impressive. Nice work. Well, that concludes it for me. I'm headed to the airport to fly back home. Another successful, enjoyable GSA meeting this year.